to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. God can lift. He can change levels. When it happens in our world, we have all kinds of cliches. We say, ah, Mr. Man, you are no longer what you used to be. Oh. You are now richer or better or whatever it is. I've told you here, we don't serve God because of all these things. But to believe that he does not do them is another kind of falsehood. You are not holier than the God who wants to lift and prosper. Forever, our passion is to seek him for who he is. Not for money, not for lifting. But your heavenly father knows that you need these things. If you don't know it, he's informing you now that you need it. You need financial resources, brothers and sisters, at greater levels. You need lifting, you need favor. Our world is surrounded by wicked people full of all kinds of prejudices. There has to be a spiritual advantage. It's one thing to have what to give, but until the lifter lifts you. The reason why all of you can see me is because this platform has lifted me. I will never stop at this level I am. Nobody will preach me into believing it is the will of God to remain here. No. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter. You should not come and find me where you met me yesterday. I shouldn't come and find you where I met you yesterday. Listen, let me tell you this. We are going to pray shortly. There are territorial spirits that operate in our regions. And their assignment is to make people look like the city. Have you seen people like that? They go to school. They do everything. But the same way the zings are old. The same way the buildings are old. You go back to that city after 15 years. You see what you saw as a baby. It's still waiting for you there. No growth. And the city, the spirits in those regions turn you to become like that. Let me tell you a testimony. Many years ago, I was in this city and I took a cab. And we got talking with the man. True story. The man was driving me. And I engaged him in a conversation and he began to talk and he he said something that I thought was very interesting he said Oga that there is a spirit in this city that makes money not stay in the hands of people so that he went somewhere or so and someone gave him an advice that every time he receives money he should run out of Abuja and that now he has built a house it was not what he was saying I was saying ah so there is a spirit that can make you keep earning 500,000 every month and at the end of the year your life looks like yesterday it's a spirit a true church must preach Christ and the whole person of God including his desire to empower men including his desire to lift men including his desire to bring acceleration the only thing we need to do is to reprioritize our focus so that in the midst of it, Jesus is exalted above all. But to ignore these things in an attempt to say Jesus is above all is a costly mistake that we'll spend our lifetime paying for. But this night, the lifter wants to speak. The lifter wants to lift men. And when God talks of lifting, there are forces that make for lifting. One of them is humility. The other is favor. Favor can lift. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. Then verse 17. 
and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 the lifting power of favor and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I'm not the one who will stop any good thing God wants to do in my life Lord if you want to bless me religion will not stop me from receiving it if you choose to honor me glory be to your name my only vow is that in it you will be glorified and you will be seen but to reject it because of foolishness and ignorance i will not be part of that everything that comes from god is good it is perfect if it kills you it mingled with flesh it's not because it came from god if money destroys you it's not that money is bad it's that your own renewed mind and your lack of surrender mixed with that money and it became something else that god did not give there is nothing in itself that kills the state of your heart is what makes any good thing kill prosperity does not destroy many people preach against prosperity for instance and yet they are looking for money yet they have needs yet they have children we're not talking about self-aggrandizement no there are more important kingdom things what of the lifting imagine that god lifts you now and you become captain over a parastatal imagine how many people will be blessed because of it you see the moment you are selfish you will never see a need to do more and be more but when you become selfless you will know that god you have blessed me but is this all i can be he's anointed me and i'm grateful to him but i continue to tell him lord if ever you are looking for someone to carry a greater level of grace for the nations you have helped me but i still am available I'm not available so that people will come and say Joshua Selma no no if 10 people are sick and seven are healed what if your relative is part of the three that are not healed imagine returning from a service I heard you came for koinonia what happened I'm sorry we celebrated miracles but I was not there because of those three we will celebrate and then return back and say Lord there is still more there is still more hear me perhaps last miracle service you came and you celebrated what God was doing in the lives of people healings and miracles and you went back and it didn't seem like anything happened now it's another opportunity but you must be very very discerning you must be very very discerning are we together now discern make up your mind that i will not be careless no i will be discerning you can be in the presence of god and it will be like genesis 28 the lord was in this place and i knew not this is holding my, my trouser again praise the lord are we together when it is time to pray you must pray from the depth of your heart lord i desire more power more grace you have called me into the ministry of kingdom wealth i make up my mind thank god for what you have given me but i've not yet been able to give a billion naira for the gospel i'm not there thank god you have made me a politician I thank you for my political career but I'm unable to serve to the degree that brings you glory in this position exalt me more so your desire is now sincere and God says for me let's go and while he's saying let's go many people are saying be careful if you rise we keep telling people be careful and the devil keeps lifting people who when they go there they force us to serve God wants to exalt people God wants to, if you are not interested, there are many others who are genuinely interested. As for me and my house, Lord, everything that you can give me that will bring you glory, my hands are opened to receive it and it is for your glory. You are in ministry, refuse inferior levels of the anointing. Thank God for it, but it will only lead you to a level of struggle, one headache per year. 
no you are in business thank god going up and down tomorrow balloon success you before you finish celebrating you are in trouble again you have to trust god for grace to be consistent to enter into a sabbath where you can become a blessing are we together yes i vowed a vow to god that i will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound i believe in influence influence is the ability to compel a territory to buy into your convictions based on the excellency of the results that come from your life influence is powerful we can make jesus lifted and known through influence there are two tools that bring for kingdom advance one is evangelism enthrones christ in the heart of men the second is influence it institutionalizes god consciousness across a territory nobody will follow people without results you've heard me say that people love you but they love themselves too if you are not producing results nobody is going to waste his time and i cried to god i said lord don't send me with only a salmon the world that that needs you needs more than a salmon we need to see a demonstration of the power the grace of God ladies and gentlemen I want you to know three things number one Jesus is Lord number two he trained us well number three sit back and watch the wonder working power of God tonight as he heals as he delivers oh we dare to say it with every sense of confidence as touching the grace that has been given to us please rise up on your feet you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you will never be the same you've touched his grace hallelujah in one minute let your expectations rise to heaven please go ahead jesus is here jesus is lord all over the nations follow with hunger in your heart please lift your hands and pray. everyone everyone lift your voice and pray. You are lifter. Shalabakata brandege de balada balada. Shalabarakoto perete te Faces me, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. The last prayer point and we'll pray. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception. There are visions. There are things you can carry. Your mind is a womb too. And bear Abraham a son even in old age. At the set time which the Lord God has spoken. Father as you have spoken do to me. As you have spoken do to me tonight. Shake paratus and the Galebala Catasia. Shalla, Shalla Baracotaba, 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on, please. Don't, don't run for yourself. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? Yes. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We're not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olu Shegun. From where? From Okusei. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage with one of my friends for us. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God, oh. God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, huh, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call, if and when administered within the boundary of scripture, and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that i was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until i studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but i searched 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 and i did not really find anyone i know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that i went to scripture and then i found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map 
of a nation or the map of a city and I would see light will point a particular region and the moment I announce it all the people from that region the power of God begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life I said what is the meaning of this are we together now and I'm saying that because this is what I'm seeing I'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of God is touching Kogi state this is what I'm seeing listen help them please you see what I'm saying Kogi state Kogi state bring them out Kalatuski de Brakatushiata Kebrantos Kalibra Katosiata Kogi state God is bringing deliverance there are foundations there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down in the name of Jesus I come by the apostolic and the prophetic here at this miracle service Kogi state doesn't matter what local government in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead we arrest everything please don't come out on your own Palisa Brekatushi Atakara Sutiyash Paruzen Teshkabari Katuskiyata In the name of Jesus Hallelujah These things are manifestations of the Spirit It is to profit the believers Hear me except god is not god everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny i declare by the power of the holy ghost help them please it must let you go now it must let you go now covenants it must let you go now yokes of ancestry he must let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there is someone here in politics. The power of God is coming on you. I'm not, I'm not a politician. I don't play politics. I'm a man of God, but I love politicians. I love great people. I don't run away from them. We are sent to minister to them. But there is a politician right now. I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person. Just hold the person I want to prophesy. If that is the woman, just hold her. I want to speak to her. Because I'm seeing her climb a ladder. There is a strange political door that is about to open up for her. Listen, this is the house of God. It's impossible to come here and return back. Minister Dunsin already told us here. Yeah, I am that I am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her I don't know who she is but just help her please that's all right we are hold her there please don't worry you don't have to just keep her there you don't have to lift her just keep her there madam we respect you we do not insult your pedigree in any way is just to speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I come I use her as a point of contact I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians if you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason I stand in the name of Jesus you see every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation the king priest prophet formation I declare in the name of Jesus everyone here politically may my god lift you to the next level may my god lift you to the next level by the power that raised jesus from the dead ene ojo ene ojo is there a name like that ojo what's your name Huh? Give please, is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, 
I'm speaking to you now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that door be opened now yeah. madam what do you do hold on please is this mic working please media help us I'm a politician you are a politician yes sir I hope you're not embarrassed yes, sir. <laughs> don't cry madam God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, 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 I don't know whether in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. Jesus! 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 That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. He must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? I'm in a position from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I mean, Zana from England, the right sea. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you trying to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking. I'm bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm saying. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says, even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are in ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You're in ministry we're going to pray there will be a massive deliverance here right now deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way it doesn't have to be a spirit it can be a mountain once it's an obstacle it must go where is the i, I just want to speak over the I'm, I'm seeing a man of god that it takes more than sincere desire to do ministry it takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Amen. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now. 
of fresh grace you will return back and the work will begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ as powerful as Jesus is he needed John to open his heavens even if you are a midwife there are times that you will not be the one to give birth you will need somebody to help you are we together now let's pray at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus inside here following online at the overflow when we shout this name we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things now the moment we shout that name listen to me there are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down some of you as you are standing you are representing families at this shout the fire from heaven will fall upon you please i want you to bring them out bring your various overflows just bring them out those at the balcony please be careful so that you don't just fall from there are we together now father you anointed us and you call this a miracle service there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command every power I command every force, bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him. And giving him a name and office above every other office above thrones above dominions I declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now we're still praying please bring them out shagapakatos some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of god is going to come upon you but it's not just for yourself it's for your entire family lord every family represented here makatos keba that is under any kind of yoke i declare by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ that yoke is broken now broken now broken now broken now Hear me there are people here every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now in the name of jesus christ who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords we will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah, we're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. 
I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years. Many years. Suddenly, suddenly God is bringing it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers. And God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration, this is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God. Everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes, Where? Equal boy. I'm selling gas. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, refining of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't turn. But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. Just saw light the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. The, the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They are still like a river. A river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, that river, it will bring in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is signing up? Where are you coming from? But no state. What do you do, man? Oh. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands.
dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline